A-L-M. Welcome back to our Pamela's Pro Workout video series, where we take a closer look at the more unique and powerful features of the Pam Pro. Today we'll explore the special trigger modifier, which allows any output to be disconnected from the master clock and externally triggered via any of the four built-in inputs. This exciting functionality allows the Pam Pro to function like a basic envelope or a triggerable random source controlled from a sequencer or other pulse generator. Let's take a look at some of the ways the external trigger modifier can be used. The primary use for the trigger modifier is to disconnect an output from the master clock and externally trigger it like an envelope generator. Starting with output 1, patched to control a VCA, will increase the modifier speed past the highest value until we get to the special modifiers. Here we will find trigger CV1. Let's connect the sequencer gate out from the ASQ1 to the CV1 input. When a key is pressed, the output is triggered, producing the default square shape. Let's change it to a triangle wave. Let's skip to the envelopes, which are the most suitable for external triggering. Like usual, the width parameter sets the decay length of the envelope from short to long. Let's continue using the envelope wave and record a sequence live into the ASQ1. Now we'll switch to output 2 and set it to trigger CV1 as well. We'll set it to produce a second envelope triggered at the same time as output 1. Let's patch it to control the FM amount of the Akemi's Castle voice. We can shorten this envelope's time independently from the first to produce a more plucky modulation to the FM amount. Triggering multiple outputs from the same source works great for producing a typical two envelope synth voice. However, multiple inputs may also be used with different trigger sources. Let's change output 2 to trigger CV2 to control it independently from output 1. We'll connect the fourth trigger sequencer from the ASQ1 to CV2. As we input steps, we can hear the envelope from output 2 start to fire again, but with its own unique pattern. Let's return to the width parameter and assign an offset from the Axon 2 to manually control it. We'll do the same for the width of envelope 1, this time using the top offset. Offsets 6 and 7 now function like independent decay time controls for the two envelopes. Finally, let's move to output 3 and trigger it from our second sequence by once again selecting trigger CV2.
This time, however, we will choose the random shape instead of an envelope. Let's connect it to the castle's FM multiplier. Now, each time the FM envelope is triggered on output 2, a random value is simultaneously output on 3, changing the multiplier. If we adjust the trigger sequence, we can see the random wave respond. The ability to externally trigger the PAM Pro to produce simple additional envelopes as well as other triggered modulation further opens up the possibilities in both small systems and larger complex patches. In this next patch, we'll further explore the triggered random functionality that we touched on in the previous example. To start, let's set output 1 to trigger CV1. Then select the random wave shape. We'll save the single output to slot A1. Using the next out shortcut, we'll jump to output 2 and copy the settings of output 1 by loading slot A1. We'll continue doing this for all 8 outputs. All eight outputs are now set to be externally triggered by CV1. Let's duplicate the sequence gate output from the ASQ1 to the PAM's CV1 input. As soon as it's connected, we can see that all eight outputs light up, producing random CV triggered at the same time as the castle voice. Let's connect all eight random outputs to modulate the many parameters of the castle. Now, each time a note plays, the castle produces a random and completely different timbre. Like before, let's detach this triggered modulation from the pitch sequence and reconnect a dedicated sequencer to trigger it. Now we can place less frequent random tonal changes by inputting less triggers in the sequence. Externally triggering random signals allows the Pamela's Pro workout to function as a uniquely complex modulation source, further opening up its use in larger layered patches. Thanks for watching this closer look at the external trigger modifier function of Pamela's Pro workout. There are many ways to use the trigger modifier, from simply adding extra basic envelopes to a compact system, to providing unique linked modulation sources or integrating outputs into larger, more complex patches.
Subscribe to ALM TV for the latest releases in our PAM Pro series. For more information on Pamela's Pro Workout and the rest of the ALM line, please visit busycircuits.com.